Hey, I'm a mechanical engineer, and this is my indestructible flashlight. This flashlight is waterproof and so durable, you could run over with a car and it would still work. Video of that at the end. You'll also notice that there's no power button. That's because I made an internal power button. So all you have to do to turn a flashlight on and off is shake it once. I put the power switch on the inside so there'd be one less thing on the outside that could break. But enough talk, now let's shine a light on how to build it. I'm going to make the whole flashlight out of PVC pipe to make sure that it's waterproof and as durable as possible. I'll be using two one inch couplings, one one inch cap, a threaded one inch male to female adapter, and a thin walled one inch pipe. We will require a few more parts, but this is all the PVC that you will need. To begin, we're going to take our adapter and we're going to cut out two circular pieces out of Lexan plastic that fit snugly in the female end of the part. Like this. We're then going to want to drill three holes in a pyramid shape in the very center of one of the Lexan pieces. And we'll want to drill each hole just big enough to snugly fit an LED bulb. Just like this. Next, we'll want to cut a section out of our 1 inch pipe that will sit in between the two Lexan pieces. We'll want to cut it just wide enough so that both it and the two Lexan pieces can seamlessly slide into the female end of the adapter. For me, that's about 3 quarters of an inch. But we don't want to slide it in just yet, there's a few things we need to do before that. First, we'll want to take some reflective metal repair tape and tape the top of the Lexan piece that we drilled the holes in and the inside of the PVC spacer. like this, and we do this so the reflectiveness of the tape can help focus the light beam. Next, we're going to insert an LED into each hole and then hot glue them in place. But when inserting the LEDs, try to make sure that all the positive wires are grouped together and all the negative wires are grouped together, because we're going to need to solder on leads in just a second. And as soon as the glue hardens, we can go ahead and solder on our two leads. And with that, we are now ready to put the head of the flashlight together. Use hot glue as you feel is needed, but we'll begin by sliding the LEDs into the female end of the adapter, followed by the PVC spacer, and then lastly, the second Lexan piece. All of my parts fit together very tightly, but I'm still going to put a layer of hot glue all the way around the top Lexan piece, just to make sure we have a watertight seal. With the head of the flashlight now complete, we can move on to the body. To do this, we'll first take a 2 inch long piece of pipe in one of our couplings, then glue them together using PVC cement. Next, we'll cut out a small block of wood, no thicker than 3 quarters inch, that snugly fits inside the pipe we just glued. We'll then drill a hole in the center of the block just wide enough to snugly fit our switch. Like that. And it really doesn't matter what kind of push switch you use, however the larger the head the better. Now we'll go ahead and solder short jumper wires to the switch and then hot glue it into the block. Now when I slide this into the pipe, you can see that there's small holes on the side for wires to fit through. This is good because we'll have to feed two wires through them. But if you don't have any cracks for the wires to fit through and your wood block is completely sealed, now is your chance to take a 1 8 bit and drill a hole through it. We'll now position the switch assembly halfway in the middle of the coupling, making sure that the switch is facing towards the pipe end and not the coupling end. And once it's positioned, we can secure it with a bit of hot glue. Next, we'll take a 9 volt connector, slipping it through the crack that I mentioned earlier. We'll then solder the connector's black wire to one of the leads of the switch, and then solder the LED's negative wire to the other end of the switch, and the two positive wires together. Just like that. Now we'll go ahead and tape them off to make sure we don't get any shorts, and then we'll go ahead and glue our two pieces of pipe together. Now to finish up, we'll cut one last 2 inch long piece of pipe, and we'll use it to glue our last coupling and end cap together. Now we'll just hook up our AA battery pack to the connector, then slide the two halves together, but don't glue them. And now all you have to do to turn it on is shake it. In case you're still wondering on how the internal switch works, it's turned on and off by the battery pack itself. The battery pack has about 3 quarters to an inch of extra space in the tube allowing it to move. So what happens when we do this, the battery pack is jumping and hitting the switch. Now as I mentioned earlier, this is completely waterproof and capable of withstanding being run over by a car. Plus, the actual power of the flashlight is pretty impressive itself. However, it could be more powerful. Because for my flashlight, I use 3 volt LEDs because that's all I had on hand. However, if you were to use 6 volt LEDs, link in the description, the flashlight will be brighter and you won't have to change anything about the design because the 6 volt AAA block will fit in the flashlight perfectly. But regardless of what battery pack you use, when it comes time to replace the batteries, just take advantage of the center part of the flashlight that we didn't glue and twist it open. Something that's really cool about this flashlight is since it's PVC, it'll take spray paint extremely well, so you can paint all sorts of different colors. 
I'm extremely happy with how this turned out. Needless to say, it really brightened my day. And there you have it, my indestructible flashlight. But hey, thank you so much for you guys watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. And if you did, please feel free to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And Lord willing, I'll see you next Friday. Thanks for watching. And please feel free to subscribe.